Hi there everybody, my name is Morg aka Vampire H from Gameplay. I've not really done one of these videos before because um, for the regular subscribers out there I've always, you've seen the unboxings and a bit of a gameplay and something like that. But I just wanted to get something, get something straight. I've just recently gone out and bought myself a PS4. I didn't want to buy a PS4 because I've been a long standing Xbox 360 fan for 14 years, right, Xbox switched, or Xbox 360 switched me into a gaming console, because um, it had everything that I wanted, it had some great collector's editions, it had all the games that I wanted, so I went with it, I did own a PS3, but I got seriously got the major shits with Sony, um, back in 2011 when they had that big hack, with 77 million people, all their details and so on went out, so I had the major shits with Sony. On the main reason being is because when somebody has access to your your credit card details, your life details and things like that, and especially on these big companies, they should have better security. So I got the shits with it, real big time shits, and I was like, fuck you Sony, that's it. And that's exactly what I did. Which brings me to the point I've actually turned around and gone and got myself a PS4. Why did I buy a PS4? There's a few reasons why I bought a PS4. Now, I am still a major Xbox gamer and I'm a, I, I will also be a Microsoft evangelist if you wanna if you wanna say that. I mean you can see in the background here and this is my um, Xbox One. And if I just move across, there is a hell of a lot of games. Yep. Probably keep going all day, because believe me, there's a lot. There's like 8 terabytes on this bad boy. So, anyway, irrespective of that. Why did I buy a PS4? I went forward and got, my, got myself a PS4, because I found out, at the end of the day, I call myself a gamer. You can't be a gamer unless you've got all the consoles, or you're playing all the, all the consoles. And only because I have the shits with Sony doesn't mean I've got the shits with the with the gamers out there that have Sony and so on. I've got some great friends out there that only go PS4 or go with PlayStation or whatever. That's respect to them. But I was denying myself of some quality games. And, you know... I mean, since I had the shits with um, Sony back in, back in 2011, I missed out on some amazing games, right? Some exclusives, some things like um, Uncharted 3, um, The Last of Us, things like that. PS4's comic would come out now. <sighs> Wait, bear with me, I'm just going off on a tangent here, sorry about that. So PS4. It's going out there and people saying, oh, it's a more powerful system, it's, it's 1080p, it's uh, 60 frames per second, blah, 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 fucking blah. Right. The majority of the people out there actually have no clue. They think the bigger number means better. That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Right. For my daytime job, I'm a retail manager for a home entertainment so we're dealing with TVs and PCs and things like that. And let's just put it this way. 1080p is a crock of shit when it comes to the majority of parents buying gear, buying TVs for their kids to play on their Xbox or their PS4 or whatever. Because the majority of the time the TVs they're buying is a high definition television. And a high definition TV wasn't a 1080p full high definition TV. It's a 720p. So, saying that, oh great, I can go out and I can watch fucking 1080p, bollocks! The majority of the TVs that are actually sold in my place that are used for gaming are 720p TVs. The older generation, right, all the big, to big time gamers, like myself, we know what we're looking for, so we look for 1080p. So, big respect out to you, you know, I've got a 1080p 200Hz Sony TV here, right? It's perfect for, for what I need. But as I say, a lot of people go for 720. They have no idea what, what the difference being is. Irrespective of that, the, t the games still look amazingly good. Right? Which I've digressed again. Anyway. So, why did I buy a PS4? 
I bought a PS4 not because it's a better better gaming system because like I said before I've been denying myself some of some quality games out there so every time people say oh you should get a PS, PS4 because of The Last of Us which was obviously on the PS3 which I also missed so bought myself a PS4 and it's about time I've missed out some quality games Naughty Dog I loved you back in the PS2 PS2 days with Crash Bandicoot and so on like that. I've still got my PS2 in there, I've still got tons of games for it and I still occasionally turn it on so I love that. Anyway, I've never played God of War. So here's God of War 3 for the PS4. I denied myself of a quality game until dawn. Now, if you look at my videos and stuff, I like thrillers. I like the choices. I like the quality of the story and so on like that. So, until dawn, I'm actually really looking forward to playing this. The Order. Yes, this one got loads of shit. I've got the order because I know that I'm going to expect two hours of cinematic bliss with very little gameplay, but I want to experience this game because I remember when I was originally seeing all the trailers for this game, I was like, yeah man, that looks good. So I got it anyway. It probably is a crock of shit, but I want to experience it, right? So, now... What I really am looking forward to, The Last of Us. They've remastered it, put it on the PS4, Last of Us. Can't wait. Actually really looking forward to this. And then to catch up on the Uncharted, Uncharted I got the Uncharted collection as well. Right, so Uncharted, definitely. I've already pre-ordered the um, Uncharted 4 collector's edition, which you guys will see me do an unboxing of. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm going to catch up on the story and then go on from there. Now if you notice, all of those games are the exclusives that are available on only on the PS4. Obviously PS3 if they've rehashed them. But that's what I'm going to use my PS4 for. Literally exclusive, with one exception. And the only exception is Grand Theft Auto. I'll have it on all of the consoles. I'll get it on the PC and so on like that. I've got a crew, I've got, as I say, I've got some great friends out there that are playing GTA, and I love GTA, absolutely love GTA, so I, I'm not going to deny myself being able to play with those guys, those guys and girls out, out there on, G, on GTA, so that is my only exception that I'm going to do. Plus I've been looking through the store and they've got a lot of retro games on there as well, which I was quite happy about, like, they've gone for some of the old PS2 Redones, they've done GTA 3, GTA San Andreas, and Vice City. I bought all three of those digital downloads. I'm going to look forward to them. Yes, they're not going to look as pretty as this, but man, I had so much fun in playing them. So I'm looking forward to playing those. But that is why I've gone with the PS4. You will not find any other game than a GTA game going in my console that isn't an exclusive. All right. I mean, I've got the PS4, I've got the controller, the controller's brilliant, it's a great controller, it's nice and light. Yes, the battery life isn't brilliant, but it should last the game in session, so, so, you know, who cares? Feels good. At first, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, that seems a bit big. But now I've tried it, I actually do like this controller. It is a very good controller. I mean, come on, guys, I, I also own a Wii U, so, yeah, I only got the white one. But I love the Wii U, I like this, I especially like with, with the screen because they've got the um, retro classics and stuff like that you can just play it on the screen so I can sit back and just play here while somebody else is watching TV so it's great. But back to the controller, it's not Xbox Elite, good. I love this controller, this is still going to be my little baby using it, whatever, modify it, change it, do whatever, so still very much Xbox, but yeah, as regards, I bought myself a PS4, I'm quite happy to have a PS4, I'm going to enjoy some exclusive games, and that's about all that I've got to say, um, thanks ever so much for watching, 
Sorry if it turned out to be a bit of a random blah 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 about Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. But I just wanted to say, I've finally gone out and got myself a PS4. I have not forgiven Sony for the 2011 and messing up with people's um, details and so on like that. Probably because I hold grudges. So I will be very, very careful. However, I do know that their technology has got a lot better. Yes, there's been a lot of DDoS attacks out there crashing the servers. That's not meaning they're going out there and getting your details. Because the same has been happening with Microsoft. But I'm still going to be extremely cautious. So that's what I'm going to say. I now own a PS4. Got my Wii U. Obviously got my Xbox One. I'm never going to get rid of my 360 because I've got a ton of games as you can see here. Alright, um, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. Sorry if it turned out into, into being a major rant, blah blah blah, whoop de doo PS4, so on, but I just wanted to say this. So, take it easy guys. Man above the morgue out.